Hey y'all, it's Jen. Welcome back. I have a fun video for you today. I have a Dollar Tree haul. Yes, I'm a haul girl. I got a haul for journaling, creative journaling, junk journaling, whatever kind of journaling you got going on. So let's jump into it. I picked up these Easter plastic tubs because I thought they would be perfect for storage. And they do have writing on them, but I think you can actually use a razor blade to get that off, or you can just place it on a shelf where you can't see the writing. That's what I plan to do. But oh my God, these colors are fantastic. This purple, oh my gosh, that's my favorite purple in the whole world. I just love it. So I really love these Easter colors that they have right now at Dollar Tree. I hope your store has them. The next thing I picked up, I saw a woman make a little like kind of drawer set with these and I will link her in the description. It was just such a brilliant video, but she turned these around so that they would look like solid. And then she glued on wooden knobs that she also got from Dollar Tree. So I'm kind of showing you what my vision is for these. And my plan is to put just little tiny ephemera bits in these and I'm going to use wood glue, a combination of wood glue and hot glue gun to keep everything together. I've seen that that's a really good tip that people use with these DIY projects uh, with Dollar Tree. I got more of these tumbling tower blocks because they have these at my store. You could also use those as little drawer pools. So if you do the math, six times a dollar 25, that's what this comes out to. But it's a custom piece, so it might work really well for ephemera collectors. And I plan to put a backing on that where that heart hole is, like a piece of scrapbook or cardstock in the back, so things don't fall out. I found this amazing baker's twine. I couldn't believe how much is there for $1.25. They have all kinds of cute colors, light pink, blue, yellow, but I put those back because I'm trying to only pick up things that I know I'm going to use. And again, I got more tumbling tower blocks because I really do want to make a few more stamps. I want to make a mushroom and just a couple more things to put in my little journal. So I picked up more of those and they're very versatile. You can do so much with them. I love getting tissue paper at Dollar Tree and I found these beautiful patterns that I haven't seen before. It's not as many sheets as some of their other packs, but it's still, I think, a pretty good deal at $1.25. And I love these patterns. I love uh, putting uh, tissue paper on the backs of my journals as a background. And if you go back a few videos, I showed you what I did with Dollar Tree tissue paper, how I added my own patterns to it, to them, to the pieces. And I always grab for tissue paper. That's just the easiest background and, and I love it. It gives instant color and interest. So that is definitely something to look out for at Dollar Tree. And if you're an international uh, viewer, I'm so sorry that I have been basing these videos around Dollar Tree. I hope that you all have a similar store to in your area, but I'm just trying to show folks that you don't have to spend a lot of money to do journaling. So I hope you enjoy watching these anyway and that you get some ideas for some shops that might be near you. The other thing I picked up were these really cool mini writing tablets. And I'm going to use these as pieces to uh, glue down in my journal so that I can have writing space. And I think that they just add instant color. Um, so these are really, I think, a really good item to pick up. And I thought this was so neat how at the top they're all glued together. So you can keep this as a huge pad and you don't have multiple pads floating all over. But you could tear them apart because they each have a cardstock backing or chipboard backing. So you, a lot of people make a decorative notepads out of these. They put like a nice piece of scrapbook paper on the top. Um, yeah, just to give as a gift. But I thought they would be cool just to add collage, color, and interest and to act as a writing space. 
The next thing I got were these little stars and there's a lot in there. There's 396 little stars. I picked these up because I am using a smaller journal now. I'm trying out the Fobonichi style journaling where you briefly do daily journaling to keep up with your memories. And I needed these because they're really tiny so I can fit them in these small writing areas. And so here I'm just going to pick a few and show you what my vision was for them. I've been documenting how far I walk. Um, last year I got a cholesterol test that was really bad and I really haven't addressed it until recently. So I've downloaded a really awesome, well I wouldn't say it's an awesome app, it's lacking in a lot of ways, but it's a virtual walking challenge where I'm doing it in another country and at the end of it i'll get a medal <laughs> so really that is the only reason i am doing this and i think that's what the app is designed for is people like me that need a reward so i've been logging in my miles this is a cute pad i haven't picked this up yet but i keep looking at it um and just decided to go for it this time because i do love the colors and again it's going to add instant color and i love collaging so again, this is a really cool instant background that you can glue down and then you can layer on top of it with paint markers or acrylic paint, colored pencils, watercolor, and you can just write on it. You can stamp on it. It also could be later down the road paper to do origami with. That's something I used to love doing a few years back with my kids, but I haven't been able to find like origami paper. So this paper is really thin and it could be used definitely for origami, but it's rectangular. So you'd have to cut it down to a square, but what a neat thing to make for your journal, a little flat origami piece, like a bird or a fish. Uh, these are some notebooks I picked up because I just wanted to show you all the options for getting a notebook to start your own Fobonichi. This one was my favorite out of all three because it has blank paper in it and it feels a little more durable and it has an elastic band to uh, hold it in. It's not sewn like a composition book. It's glued, so I'm just kind of hesitant to try it, but I think I am going to try it as my next journal and I'm going to decorate the front. And I wanted to show you these other ones. I think these are also the spines are glued in, but this would be awesome for just like a month or a few weeks. And uh, these are some other ones that have lines in them. So I just thought they were cute. I wanted to show you guys what your options are at Dollar Tree as far as notebooks. They do have composition books there, but they are definitely cheaper at Walmart and I think they're a better quality. I couldn't believe that when I saw these adorable baskets, oh my gosh, I had to get them instantly for storage. I just pulled out the ribbon and I put it in my ribbon container so I can use it later on for other projects. I know I'm off the, uh, the frame a little bit i'm so sorry but i'm showing you that it's like a caddy like you can put so much in this so i'm definitely going to be using these for storage on shelves uh, in my craft room again i am in love with this purple and uh the easter geez the easter things are so beautiful this year at dollar tree but i only got what i needed i don't go crazy like a lot of other people do with dollar tree hauls i feel like sometimes they just get stuff just to make a video but that's not what i'm about i'm about affordability and getting things that you'll actually use and that brings me to my next point i got a lot of the gel pens that they have there because i want to try them out for you so that you don't have to waste your money in case they're bad. These, I could not believe it. These are mechanical freaking pencils. They're by Zebra brand. They are adorable. It looks like a real pencil. Oh my gosh, and it has erasers on them and they actually pump. You're not gonna believe it. I will show you later, but that is so many pencils for $1.25. I couldn't believe it. Um, I don't usually use pencils, but if you are doing like a sketch, like you're about to do a painting, oh, they're so great. So these are rad. These colors are so freaking rad in these highlighters. And I have recently discovered using highlighters in this Fobonichi thing, and I love it. It's so bright. And so I'm trying out these. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love it. These are called the Glow Line um, uh, oh, Highlighters. 
This one was scratchy, but I actually like it. So this one was definitely a defect, but I actually love that like scratchiness of it. I bet you could cut with a knife little like scratches, um, you know, into the tips of these to get that kind of like scratchy vibe. I bet that would work. I, all in all, I'm super happy with this pack of highlighters. I highly recommend these. They didn't, um, like pill or fray or anything. I don't know if that's the word for it. Um, they, you know, none of the felt came off of them and there's two of each color and the colors are just really nice. So I would suggest those for $1.25. So next up are these uh, gel pins, and I think I got three packs of gel pins. And I, I do write what this one is called um, on the cover. It's the neon pack, and there's a pack of six. So that's pretty easy to identify in the store, and they come with their own plastic container. Uh, I really loved this. I loved this one and I had no problems with this color. Uh, and they do have a grip. Of course, the pins feel a little flimsy, like really plasticky, um, but I like that it does have a grip that comes with it. Um, these were pretty reliable pins. I don't really have any complaints uh, for these at all. I don't think. I need to, <laughs> I'll probably remind myself. Um, yeah, I mean, overall they were totally fine. Oh my gosh, this pin freaking rocked my socks off. I've never had a pin that writes this bright, <laughs> like like a highlighter, like a fine tip highlighter. So I don't know if you'll, I'll be able to necessarily read what I write, but I think that'll be cool, like maybe on a black piece of paper to scribble some stars. I think that will stand out so nice. Um, and if I want more secretive writing, I could use that ink. So it's not really easy to read. Um, so yeah, that one rocked. I definitely rec recommend this pack for that one alone. I liked it. I don't know how long these will last, but I did see other pins at Dollar Tree and I kind of compared the level of ink in each pin. So definitely try to look at that to, you know, avoid getting a pin that is not going to last very long. Um, yeah, so overall, these are these are fine. I don't have any complaints. Now it gets more interesting. These are more gel pens. These are the glitter gel pens, and the containers uh, have glitter all over them, so they're very cute to look at from the outside. Um, this is where I start to have. To, sometimes I have to shake the pens to get them activated. And it's really hard for you to see on screen um, the glitter, but there is definitely like glitter and shimmer in these pens. So I really think these are a cool buy. So this is where I, I have to kind of keep writing to kind of activate the pen. Um, so I just shake, I give it a shake like you're going to shake a paint marker. I'm so sorry. It's really hard to see the glitter and shimmer <laughs> on camera. I apologize for that, but I promise they're, I mean, they're definitely very cute and very glittery. So again, you can see I'm giving these a shake to see if they'll activate. 
and this one eventually does come to life and it's so vivid i i actually really love this one this is the red pin So I don't know why, but I was just so celebrating, so loving this. I think this was the gold. I'm like, yeah. I think it was yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow. It's a really bright, vivid. And yeah, I loved it so much. I had to kind of start doodling and playing with it. But yeah, it's so cute. It has shimmer in it. It's really, really cool for $1.25. If you guys know the expensive versions of these pens, please, please comment below what they are. Because I'm just now getting into the Fobonichi style and I do want to incorporate more pins and different colors and things. But I want to know what like, I mean, I'm still going to be on a budget, but I would like to know like the dupe, if these are dupes for any like name brands. And uh, here we are going on to the metallic and wow, this one was vivid. I really loved it. it it's like liquid paint almost coming out of the pen. Um, I'm not as happy though with this pack because there were two pins that I just couldn't get um, started. So you will see that in a minute. But yeah, I, I mean, it's not too bad to have them and there might be a way to get them activated. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do a little more research on that. This was wonderful. This was a purple and wow, look at how contrasted it is. It's so vivid. Yeah, it's so pigmented. Yeah, so this one, I think this is one of the ones I might have had trouble with. And it is really disappointing because I, I did like that color. But if you guys have any suggestions on how to get these going, please, I would, I would love to have some advice down below. I mean, it looked like it wanted to start start writing, but oh man, I was, I was, so, <laughs> I was so disappointed with this one. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I'm kind of out of frame again, but this I think this one was pretty good, too. Yeah, I love this one They're just so creamy. They just stand out so much. I love it Yeah, and I would love to hear what you guys do with the gel pins. What, why do you use different colors? I mean if you're like used to Fobonichi or planning why do you guys like to use different colors? Are you color coding um, information or are you just trying to add more color uh, to your journal, but I love it for the color aspect so far in the texture. Yeah, so that gold and that emerald was not working for me. So we'll see if I can get it started. So moving on to these adorable mechanical pencils, like this is not a Dollar Tree brand. This is like a name brand. So I don't know if it's going to be at your local Dollar Tree, but um, different Dollar Trees get in, you know, different like I think it's an overstock store. I haven't done that much, much research to it, but yeah, so not every Dollar Tree is exactly going to get these. Maybe they will. Um, yeah, but I thought that was a wonderful deal. And um, every Dollar Tree is really different. Like, you know, I don't know, like the other day I saw a video where this lady, she was hauling stuff and she's like, oh, it's new. It's just into my store. And I was thinking, wow, we've had that for a few months. And the other day I went into the store and I still see the same boxes piled up in the same place. And it's been like a whole month that those boxes have been there. And I just think that they get a lot of stuff, but they don't have the staff or time to put it out. So I'm very patient. I lower my expectations when I go into the store. I'm not rude. I'm not pushy. I don't ask them questions about, you know, oh, when is a shipment? Blah, blah. Are you going to get this, that? 
Um, our Dollar Tree is really, the, the one I go to is very clean. So I make sure if I decide I'm gonna get something else, I try my best to go back and put the item away because I know that they don't have a lot of staff there. And they're so sweet, they're so nice there. Our other Dollar Tree is trashed. <laughs> It's just so picked over. It's by a, a huge military installation, so it gets really busy. So here I'm kind of doing a demonstration of what all the pins and markers look like in one of these bins and showing you how versatile they can be for storage. I just love the color. Absolutely love it. So I'm excited to add, you know, some extra color into my journal. I showed you all in a previous video, there was a four set of pastel highlighters. I don't like those as much as these, but they, they are pretty colors. So the next thing I'm gonna show you this cool idea I have on storing pa Patreon art. So I'm a member of three different artists and they have so many beautiful uh, clip arts and journaling cards on offer for you to print every month. And I have been cutting them up, but have no idea where to put them. So there's this little bin, this little gold bin that they have at Dollar Tree. I've, it's been there for a while. I just never had a use for it. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Don't hoard stuff just because it's new. Just wait, okay? Um, and I got these little photo albums. They still make these. So I've already started working on it. And what I did was I decorated each cover you can slip that paper back in after you decorate it. And I've divided it by the artist and I'm making one specifically for numbers so that I can easily do my weekly layout in my Fobonichi. So far, slipping the ephemera in these books makes them really fat and bumpy and I really don't like that. So I'm gonna keep playing with this and see if I can come up with a solution to make them lay flat. So guys, I really hope you like this video. I try not to do go, go overboard with this. The object isn't to go to Dollar Tree and hoard things and to spend a ton of money. Um, first, try to go to a thrift store to see if they have what you need. If not, then hit up Dollar Tree if you're on a budget. Um, this is my purpose is to just show you how to save money and how to make your life easier doing art and mixed media, things like that. So please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your reactions. Are you going to try out any of these things? What do you do in your personal journaling process to, you know, organize things? Uh, talk to me about the pins that you use. Um, I would just love to hear your ideas and I hope you guys are doing well and that you've had a good weekend. Just remember that you are creative and I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.